here's a little tour of my um, MQTT enabled doorbell. Um, I've also added a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. All this runs off uh, the power that goes to the doorbell. It's traditional 18 volt AC um, solenoid actuated doorbell. And I've got a buck converter here that takes the 18 volts AC, converts it to DC, and it's outputting 5 volts. It's powering the Node MCU and the relay. Um, waiting on stuff from China because this version of the Node MCU won't fit on a single breadboard and still give you the ability to use the breadboard. So it'll eventually be replaced by a Wemos with a proto shield and a relay shield. So it should fit in the wall in the two, uh, two gang box behind the doorbell. So the relay is actually what fires the doorbell solenoid. So I can turn the ability to ring the doorbell on and off. And outside, I've got a traditional doorbell. I took the um, AC lamp out and put an LED in and it functions exactly the same as the regular bulb did. Press the button and if the ringer is enabled at the door. it will ring the doorbell. If not I've got Google Home programmed to tell me there's someone at the door. So my dogs go nuts when the doorbell rings. This is kind of a big feature for me. Hey Google, turn the doorbell ring on. You got it, turning the doorbell ring on. So it's in Home Assistant. Uh, I can control it via automation or as a switch. And right now I think it alerts me and rings the doorbell. I haven't yet worked all this out yet. Nope, looks like if it knows the ring is off, it won't tell me, and vice versa. So, maybe that gives you some ideas of stuff you can do. Um, I bought this on Amazon. Probably get it cheaper from China, but uh, all this together, I'm going to add a light sensor. They just got here today. I haven't had time to upload the sketch. Um, all this is maybe 12 bucks in parts. So... If you want to uh, check out the code that I'm using or get more information about the project, I'll put a link in the doobly-doo.